Hey, John here, running you through a quick example of how to create client dashboards. Now, the first step you're gonna to wanna to take is going to the account dropdown here and selecting the viewers tab. Now, you can provide each one of your customers or clients with a viewer license. Uh, these licenses are read only. Uh, they're all free and they're unlimited. Uh, so literally every single one of your clients can get one, uh, and won't cost you a dime. Basically how these viewer licenses work is once you provide access to whatever dashboards you deem fit to that viewer, the viewer will have their own login, be able to look at the dashboard and click on the visuals or the numbers to get the drill down, but they cannot change any of the filters you have applied or manipulate any of the gauges that are on that dashboard. So that's why we call it a read only license. Uh, so you'd come here, you'd select this blue invite a viewer button and then put in their information and it would be added to this list here. Now, once you've created a viewer license for your customer, you're gonna to wanna to come here to dashboards and select a dashboard that you think is adequate uh, for your customer. We do have some templates available by default inside of your account. Um, currently, the dashboard I'm using is a client dashboard uh, template we have here. Uh, this is a mostly made of ConnectWise data, but don't worry if you're using other data sources, all the steps I'm gonna show you are the same. The only differences would be the fields that you're selecting inside of the data sets uh, to filter down the information. Now, once we've selected a template we're happy with, we'd come here to add a filter, and I would click this blue add a filter button. At this stage, you wanna collapse all data sets on the bottom, once you know we have two data sets to play with, I'll open the first one and I'll select company name, close it, select the second one, company name again, close it. And now I can come down here to value and choose a customer who I want to provide a dashboard for. And in this instance, I'll use Bob's Burgers. So I'll put Bob's Burgers. Save those changes. And you can see all of the gauges being filtered out for Bob's Burgers information. You know that you've applied the filter to every data set as long as this green icon appears in the top right corner of every gauge found on the dashboard. Now that we know that the filter was applied correctly, I'll come over here to more right under my little account icon and select clone dashboard. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to give a naming convention to all these dashboards that are similar enough that they'll appear close to each other in a group in your dashboard dropdown menu. So here I'm gonna keep the client dashboard portion and just put a dash Bob's Burgers so I can find it later. And then I'm gonna look for my contact at Bob's Burgers uh, who would appear on this user list in the bottom. And I see Bob Belcher here has a viewer license for Bob's Burgers, so I'll check him off. I'll select Create. And now Bob has his own dashboard that he can log into. He can still click into all of these numbers, get this drilled out information, but he will not be able to remove these filters, as I said, or go into the gauge builder and manipulate these gauges. The best part about all of this is that it leaves that original client dashboard template alone. So you can come in here and essentially eventually want to see like this, a list of all your customers here, and you can toggle on and off their filters to get a more focused look at the data. So I hope that this all makes sense. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at brightgauge.com.